Hey guys, if you have hard time holding the ribbon to make a double ribbon bow because maybe you have arthritis or tendonitis or something in your hands, I wanted to show you how to make a simple two ribbon bow using the Easy Bow Maker. Hello, I'm Julie Samako with Southern Charm Reeves where we make beautiful wreaths and teach you how to make and sell them. In this video, I wanna show you how to make a simple two ribbon bow using the Easy Bow Maker. Let's get started. First, I've unrolled all of my ribbon into the floor and I've layer it on top of each other. I'm just going to start this way. I don't know why I'm starting this way, but I am. All right, I'm going to pinch it, place it in my, the, the nozzle. I'm going to twist, measure out to the seven inch mark, come back in. This is why I put it all on the floor so I can untangle it. So measure out to the seven inch mark, place it in your, um, in between the two place, the two, what do you call those things? Spools, spindles, wood pieces, the thingies. How about that? So we're gonna measure out to the seven inch mark over here and we're gonna come back around and place it in here. And then we're gonna twist, come back to the seven inch mark, flip it around, just like that. Twist, I just keep twisting towards me. So now that we've done the seven, we've done three, lo three loops that measure out to the seven inch. I'm gonna measure the next one in by a half, I mean, I'm sorry, a whole inch. So I'll be coming into the six inch right here. So now we're set, we're starting our X layer is what I like to call it. So we form an X. We're going to do four loops that are six inches. Twist to me. Right. Twist again. This to me. So we've got two. Now we're going to do two more. We've got same length. So we're going to twist to me. Oops. Did I do two already? Oh, I've already done two. All right. So that's that's the the X. Okay. So that's the X that I was talking about. So we made an X, just like this. You can see the X. The seven inch um, loops, really, the, they come out in between the X, just like that. My dog is not happy about something. Just ignore, I do all the time. <laughs> all right, so now the next layer, so we did these at six inches, I wanna come in about five inches. Twist. If you want to use your ruler, you can. Twist to me. So these would be the little rabbit ears. So when I do mine hand tied, I call these the rabbit ears. Wait a minute, that one looks a little bit bigger. Let me just look. Maybe up a little bit. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so these would be my rabbit ears, and then I form an X behind that, which is this, and then I form even another layer in between the X. So that's what this would look like. Then I would tie this off with forest wire. So I'm going to pick this up. Okay. 
twist it. So we've got the piece that is coming out of the center. I'm just going to go ahead and trim that off. You can trim it whatever size you want. So here is the ear, the rabbit ears, and our X. And then we've got one loop in front and one loop in the back of the seven inch. So we're just starting to shape it. So pretty much this is what it looks like when it just comes out by just, just spreading everything around. And once you start spreading things around, you might want to look at the back and make sure that you don't need to um, twist and make it a little tighter. I think we're good. All right, so now when you attach it to your wreath or swag, whatever you want to attach it to, that's when it's going to be a little easier to spread and um, spread out. But what you'll want to do is you just want to start separating these pieces just like this. Don't be afraid to really move them around. You're going to spread these out. Oh my gosh, my dog. He just had an Instacart delivery, so he thinks that person must still be in the house. Right, spreading. Spreading. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the next layer. Spread. Spread, spread, and there we have so this is just a, sim a little simpler way of making your bow if you have a hard time holding it. There you have it. A two ribbon bow using the Easy Bow Maker, hopefully saving your hand. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions below, um, and let me know what you might be interested in seeing next time. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to be notified the next time we upload another tutorial. Thanks for watching.